where you're from, and why you're running. Hi guys, my name is Brian Santos. I actually work here at Tri-City Subaru. I'm running because I love the Tri-City cars. I love the dealership. I love the people that work here. And I'm here to support you. I'm here to get home. This is my family. This is Sarah. This is Matthew. This is my beautiful wife, Jennifer. Hi. And we're looking forward to today and we're going to have a good time. My name is Mike Bickford. I work here at Tri-City. And I met Bucky here. Bucky used to work here for 27 Seven years. years. Yep. And that's how we met. And then when uh, I've done some 5Ks in the past, and we got together and decided to do one here. Yeah, actually, uh, I was here to uh, uh, hit Mike up for a sponsorship for our car show, which he gladly did. And... Uh, he, we got talking and he said, I've been looking for a veterans organization to, uh, to help out with a 5K. And I said, I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, first, before we get any further into the interview, I would like to thank Mike very much and his group. You're welcome. That is here to support our veterans, which are in need. So uh, at that point, I'll turn it back over to Mike. Okay. Uh, can you tell us where this money is going to go to? Uh, well, it's going to go to basically veteran care. Uh, it will be going for veteran care. Uh, we do numerous numbers of veterans, you know, heating, you know, electric bills, rent, you know, anything that we can help them with. Homeless uh, veterans. Homeless veterans. We just took care of a homeless veteran this week. So uh, there's, been, there's been a lot on our plate this year with the uh, economy the way that it is. So we've been, we've been uh, lacking funds, and this is going to be a big boost to our, our organization to help the Seacoast veterans. Can you tell us what the route is, please? The route? I'm not sure the, the street names, but we just run down. We're going to basically take a right, run about uh, a mile and a half, and then come right back here. Uh, we have awards for first, second, and third for uh, men's and women's. Uh, and then we have a raffle um, that everyone is eligible for because they ran. Uh, and then we'll do try to sell some more raffle tickets towards the end and then uh, pull the raffle winners. And I really appreciate uh, all of the people that uh, donate to the legions. Uh, we have such a powerful organization that we're on the road every day caring for veterans. And we have men that are unnamed because they don't want to be named that uh, contribute to our post effort. And uh, we have a lot of organizations and a lot of groups in this town, businesses in this town, that help us out. Uh, and first and foremost, I'd like to thank them all and all of the businesses that Mike has brought on board that we never had. And it's been a tremendous, tremendous support. And I hope that this will be a lasting effort. Yeah, just uh, thank all the veterans here today and all the veterans in the country for their service. I think it's our duty uh, as Americans to take care of them.
here at this race? Well, I'm David Ida, and I'm from Concord, and this is my girlfriend Colleen Connell, she's from Pitchfield. New Hampshire. We're, we're here just to support the race. It's, I mean, they, it's, I, I think it's fantastic. And, uh, you know, I, I think the veterans are fantastic. I'm Kim Jean from Epping, New Hampshire, and I'm doing the walk for the veterans, for we also know the Bickford family, and just helping them out to raise some money. My name is Ron Vigu. I'm a member of the American Legion Post 79 in Berwick, Maine. These, uh, I made this, uh, yeah, either coffee table or shoe stand, and I made that shelf over there. Andy Buckman and I made this. All this wood is recycled wood. It was all going to the dump, but people know that Andy and I do things so they just stop at my house and they just drop off the wood and we try to make something with it. That's how these got done. How long have you been wood Me personally? Oh God, uh, I'm 80 now. I probably started when I was 50. I'm a latecomer, so to speak, and I'm still a rookie. Yes, I'm, I'm still a rookie woodworker, yes. How many items do you make every year? We try to, everything that we make, we usually donate it to an organization so they can raffle it off. This is the first time, obviously, we're doing the 5K because Tri-City Dodge and Tri-City Subaru are kind enough to sponsor this for us. But most of the time, uh, the items that I make, I donate it to the, our post auxiliary and they raffle it. Like last year, we uh, had an old bench that we redid and they made $1,200 on a raffle. So it's a good fundraiser for them, so we do that. Now to the first annual 5K road race here at Tri City Cars. All right, if we can have everyone's attention. Um, we'd like to thank you all for coming out to the first annual 5K road race here at Tri-City Cars. Uh, we'd like to thank the American Legion, Post 79. Um, I think we've done a very good job here. As you can see, we had some great sponsors here on our sponsor board. Um, but you're all here. We appreciate it. The love that we give to our veterans is by far the best. So let's start with our winners of the 5K road race. So for first place, men's division, David Audet. These have been donated by Service Credit Union. We appreciate all that they do for the community. Second place in the male division is Dylan Patrick. <laughs> Third place is Zachary Osborne. And first place for female, Stephanie Wetzel. And for second place, Amy McPhee. Third place, we have Christine Bell. Okay. Well, congratulations to all of you, and those of you that even walked, we appreciate you being here today. All right, first up, we have a $25 gift certificate to mainly local yokes. Number 958 9135 9199 9468. Can we get a picture of you and the bear? 9185